Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today, Tim and I are going to be talking about what better than our Christmas list That's for right. this year. Top we thought, five? Yeah, top five from the each of us. We thought we'd talk about that a little bit in advance, uh, so maybe you guys can add some of this stuff to your list. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. It's episode six of The Couch. All right, Tim, so you, you want to go ahead and start with your list there? Yeah, this is the top five, um, each of our top five lists on a budget. Right. That's the key. Most of the stuff we try to keep under 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's still good quality stuff, Yeah. so don't let the price fool you. Yeah. First thing on my list actually is the Manfrotto 709B tabletop tripod with ball head. And the reason I thought this was pretty cool is that it's not a full-size giant tripod it's actually a small tripod that if you're somewhere like maybe a museum or something where they yell at you about right. having a tripod you can whip this thing out of your bag put it up somewhere it's not obtrusive it's small but it's still effective and it's uh 33 bucks i saw this actually i think i saw it on the grid um well if you remember a comment actually that you made to me at the truck show yeah. episode you you had told me oh man i wish my tripod would go lower because yeah. we're doing night shots, long right, exposures. Right, yeah. We're trying to get these real, really obscure, cool. really low shots. Yeah. And, it, and I remember you saying that. You said, I wish my tripod would go lower than this. Yeah. So this this would be a perfect remedy for that. It would work on a uh, SLR. It would work on a, a point and shoot. It would work on a GoPro. Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. So cool. pretty sweet. Yeah. I like that. 33 bucks, and it's yours. All right. Uh, your first item... Okay, yeah, so the first item here, this is the Gary Fong Light Sphere. Um, there's a couple different models of this out there. I just try to pick one of the cheaper ones. I mean, you get into real specific what you want to, you know, what you want to do with these. But basically what these do, and I'm sure most of you have seen these, they, they take your uh, speed light, um, they, it puts this light sphere on top, your, your speed light directed straight up and down, and what it does is it just basically illuminates the entire room. You get bouncing off of the walls behind you, behind your subject, off the ceiling. It just throws light everywhere like crazy. Yeah. It's a really cool product. And I thought, what is the price on this one here? I was thinking for 40 bucks, yeah. why not carry that in your bag? Yeah. You know, this. I think this would be a really cool product uh, for people who shoot weddings, um, especially when you're shooting the ceremony uh, inside a church. This would be really nice. Also, people who do um, infants. Oh, yeah. It's a real nice soft light. And like I said, it throws everywhere. It's a cheap, pretty cheap product. Just throw it in your bag, keep it. Try it out. If you don't like it, you know, no big, no big deal. Cool. I like that. That should be on my list, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My next one would be the uh, Tiffin ND or Neutral Density Filter. This is a 77 millimeter, so it will fit on the 24 to 70 2.8 Canon lens. Right. Uh, the reason I want this, in case anybody doesn't know what a, a neutral density filter does, is this is going to cut the amount of light that's coming into your camera down dramatically. And the use of that would be, let's say you're in the middle of the day shooting a waterfall and you want that nice, you know, smooth motion of the water right. using a long exposure. Well, if you're in the middle of the day, you're not going to get that yeah. a long exposure because it's going to blow your image out. Um, Neutral density filter will fix that problem for you. And the nice thing about these, I was looking at this earlier, actually, when you sent it to me, these are all stackable. Yeah. So you can buy like a one stop filter, yeah. put three together, you got three stops now. Very cool stuff. And uh, pretty cheap, again, 40 bucks. Uh, your next item. Uh, oh, yes. This is one of my favorite. Uh, this is a trigger system for your speed lights. Cool. And this works on pretty much any brand of speed light. I actually have a really cheap set. It's not Canon or anything. It's yeah. speed lights. And it works great with them. Basically, you, you get uh, two receivers and one transmitter. Cool. The transmitter goes into the hot shoe of your camera, and your flashes will slide right into those receivers. Um, uh, these things are very reliable. For 30 bucks, you get a PC sync cable, one transmitter, and two receivers. So you can use two flashes at uh, the same time. You can also add an additional two receivers so you can have a four light setup um they're two channel so you can set up a lot of possibilities with that turning them on and off right right from the uh from the trigger uh so pretty cool product for 
30 bucks. 30 bucks. 30 you bucks. know, you can't beat that. Yeah. Very cool. Good stuff. All right. My next one would be, I, um, I saw this on uh, Cyber Monday deals. Right. Like company training. Company training. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one guy actually had designed this, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this is a, uh, a shelf. If you're doing wired tethering, uh, this actually connects to your tripod via a monopod. So it doesn't really disrupt your, your, um, your tripod. It just sort of sits on the monopod, leans on the tripod a little bit. I think these are like 100 bucks. Yeah. The, un the unfinished one, which, you know, it's just wood, is 89 bucks. See? So pretty cool. Now that doesn't come with a monopod, right? You have to. No, you need a monopod. You need right? a monopod. So it's basically the just the shell. The shell. Yeah. Okay. But it seemed cool. Yeah. I'd love to have it. Maybe I'll get it at some point. Love it. Uh, next for you. Uh huh. Okay. These are the. Uh, these are just um, a really inexpensive speed light hmm. to get you started into. Um, you know, using off-camera flash. Okay. So, and the reason I picked this, um, and we'll get into this at an, in another video, we're going to talk about a lighting setup for under $100. Yeah. But if, if you look at this, these are $50 a piece, okay? Um, they have TTL function. They'll work fine with the, um, with the hot shoe triggers that we just showed yeah. from my list. Uh, but the other nice thing is, you're saving like four hundred dollars yeah. a piece <laughs> true. on these things. So let's say, um, you know, if one of these were to break or just stop working, yeah, you've lost fifty dollars, right? Not four hundred and fifty or whatever the uh, five eighties yeah, cost now or whatever. They're really nice. Uh, they work really, really well. You don't get all the functions like you on different models. You don't get zoom and and manual modes and stuff like that. But a lot of these, uh, I believe this set here comes with master and slave mode. Okay. Uh, you have the ability to change the power on that. And this one might even have a zoom. But it also comes with the built-in bounce card and um, uh, the, the pop-out diffuser. Oh, cool. So, I mean, for $50, for $50 yeah, if, especially if, if you're, if you're to get just into getting it, into it, yeah. you, you know, you're not going to be able to use all those settings on a 580 to begin with. Right, anyway. yeah. This is a great way to get started. This, that's true. 50 bucks, get you in the door of uh, speed light photography. Yeah. And that's like I said, these are good. really great quality yeah. lights. That I mean, they hold up well. They work well. They have all the, the head rotations that, you know, a 580 would have. And, you know, they, they work great. Cool. They really good. It's pretty good. 50 bucks. All right. Next for me would be, um, oh, yeah. This is a uh, Logitech uh, wireless keyboard with a built-in touchpad. And my thought behind this um, was if you're at home and you edit on your laptop and you have your laptop on your lap yeah. and your back's starting to hurt, um, you could actually, if you have a nice large TV, which a lot of us do, uh, plug your laptop into the TV, whether it's HDMI or DVI or however you want to do it. You have your laptop sitting on a coffee table now. You pull this little keyboard up. You watch your TV. Now you can fire up Lightroom or whatever. You can edit your photos on your TV. Use your little touchpad and use your keyboard, and you're good to go with a tiny little keyboard in your lap. Yeah, this thing is yeah, it's pretty cool. It seems pretty cool. Um, it actually mm. is on my wish list for Christmas. So <laughs> well, it, This is 35, 35 bucks? 35 bucks. Yeah. yeah. 35 bucks. Cool. So, you know, this paired with a nice long HDMI cable. Uh, my TV at home is 55 inches, so I think I'd be in pretty good shape. To, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to Probably pretty, be in good shape. Yeah. So, there you go. All right, your next one is okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're looking at now. It's just the Black Rapids uh, website. These guys have a lot of awesome products. Uh, one being the uh, if you just we'll just scroll down here. Okay. Uh, this Black Rapids straps. Oh um, yeah. The I I've had one of these for over a year now. Um, it's one of the more basic models that so doesn't have the pockets or anything like that. The cool thing about these straps. Um, they have a lot of extra padding in them. They're ex they're much much longer than the one you get from Canon or Nikon. Okay. But the the other cool part is, it comes with um, a detachable clip which screws right into the tripod mount. Okay. Uh, so you can disconnect it extremely quickly instead of you know fumbling with the, all those plastic clips yeah. and all that. The other nice thing it has um, because it's longer. It has the ability to just pull your camera up right to your eye while still wearing the strap. You don't ever have to take the strap off, and you don't have to take the camera off the strap. So if you drop it, it's 
attached to the strap. And they have a ton of different models. They have dual camera models, which are really nice for wedding guys and stuff wow. like that. Um, prices have gone up since I popped mine like a year ago. They've gone up quite a bit. Hmm. But the other cool part, they have, um, they're built to leave the camera on. They have little bumpers that when you're walking, you can slide these down. They lock into place. They actually have a lot of videos on their website here of how all these things work. Really great strap. Um, they offer stuff uh, like a, additional battery pockets or okay. card pockets. That's cool. Which are cool. And they also um, offer lens caps, but for the back end oh. of your lens in case you lose them. The cool thing about these are they're labeled with what the lens is. Oh, nice. So you can order specific lenses. So when you throw them in your bag, you're not pulling out all these lenses trying to figure out which one's which. That's they're labeled, cool. you know, 24 to 70. Uh, 70 to 200, whatever. So, pretty cool stuff. You guys should check that out. Yeah, that's um, cool. They do have some pricey products, but they have a lot of stuff under 100 bucks too. Cool. So Very good. good. All right. Um, my last one is uh, it's actually over $100, but I think it's worth it. Uh, a year of Kelby training. Yeah. Um, you know, learning this stuff is pretty much priceless. So, a full year of this is 200 bucks, and it's just videos by some of these guys who are absolute pros. Um, we're big fans of the grid. We're big fans of Scott Kelby. So, uh, yeah, really good stuff. Hundred bucks. Um, you can see Scott Kelby on the grid. Look that up. Um, he's just kind of all over the web. I don't. I don't have a subscription, but uh, if you remember back a couple months ago, uh, Scott was giving out a free. It was, was like it a twenty four hour yeah, subscription? Hour subscription. Yeah. Um, and it was actually it was on the grid. He was giving those away. I was right. able to snag one. Yeah. Try it out, man. The videos that that these guys put out. Yeah, they're really amazing. Good stuff. Really I mean, good. stuff on all kinds of techniques, flash techniques, portrait techniques, right? Uh, travel photography, whatever. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Really cool stuff. So, and very, some of these videos are very specific to what yeah. you might be interested in. Like right. you said, travel photography, yeah. or wedding photography, or fashion portraits, or flash photography. Yeah. Really specific stuff. Really good stuff. And the guys that are teaching in these videos really know what they're, what yeah. they're talking about. And it's about. you know to me it's easier watching a video versus uh, reading a book. Yeah, I just like seeing someone playing with the equipment and showing you the settings exactly. and things like that. So, pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's actually on my wish list for real. So, <laughs> for Christmas. So, um, all right. So your last one. Is yeah, one more. Okay. okay, this one. All right, this isn't gonna make any of the Nikon people. <laughs> but I was thinking, what is? Uh, and I and I kind of tried to keep my list too. Um, maybe a beginner photographer because we're trying to keep everything under a hundred bucks. Yeah. I know when you're starting out, you don't have a lot of money to spend on this stuff. This is Canon's uh, EF 50 millimeter 1.8. Now, not to be confused with the 1.4, right. which is like $500. <laughs> the 1.8, um, we have one of these here in the studio. I've right. used one a lot. Actually, um, if you go to my website, which there'll be a link to, there's a 50 millimeter challenge that I did right. where I just walked around with a 50 millimeter and that's all I got to use. Um, just to try that out. Now this thing, I know if you read the reviews, people say it feels plasticky. Well, it does feel plasticky because it's made of plastic. Right. Yeah. But it's a hundred dollars. It's the plastic fantastic. Right. And the right. It does, yeah. That's what we, the plastic <laughs> the fantastic. That's right. You will not find a faster lens for yeah, this kind price. of money yeah. anywhere. Yeah. No, you're not going to go to Sigma. You're not going to go to Tamron. None of those guys have a 1.8 lens That's or true. a 2.8 lens for a hundred dollars. Yeah, and a 50 millimeter lens. Everybody should have a 50 yeah, millimeter lens in their bag. One, yeah. Everybody should have one. Yeah. And yes, it does feel plasticky. And some people say um, that they're not durable. But it's not a hockey puck. Right. This is a delicate <laughs> piece of <laughs> photography, equipment. photography equipment. You're not supposed yeah. to be, you know, chucking it around or right. whatever. Um, like I said, we have one here. We've never had any problems with it. No. I mean, yeah, it's plasticky, but it's a 1.8 lens for $100. Yeah. Definitely something you need to have in your bag. Well, guys, that's, that's you perfect. know, that's our Christmas list. Um, hopefully, you guys can add some of this. Yeah. We've given you time to add some of this to your Christmas list. Mo almost everything under 100 bucks, so it's not going to break the piggy bank. Right. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products, we'll have links in the description below. Yeah. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Or and any, uh, any ideas about your own Christmas list? Or yeah, yeah, else. yeah. Leave your Christmas list or, yeah. or something you thought we should have added to right. ours. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, great list. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching.